Hey Virgo, welcome back to your weekend reading. This is Kelly from House of Virgo. If you would like a personal reading, there's a link in the description box below. Yeah, so we're going to take a look at your weekend here, um, September 27th through the 29th. This is a reading for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. So if you're new, welcome. Um, so let's get started here and see what messages you have showing up for this weekend. I uh, hope everybody's doing well. Okay. All right. So you've got communicate, compromise, forgive, work it out. Some type of text messaging going back and forth over this weekend, trying to work out some kind of a relationship. You also have moving, change of residence, moving in with your partner. Okay. So somebody might be moving here. Um, and I think in yesterday's reading, some of you, uh, something showed up about securing a new home and receiving some type of a material gift. So that might be playing out for you over this weekend. And of course, some of you might be moving in with someone, a partner. Okay, you also have a gold digger. Somebody just wants you for your money. What? Okay. Be careful of that energy over the weekend something might show up for you or you might come to maybe have a light bulb moment in regards to that and you also have somebody wants to tell you something this weekend all right confession is coming out one more please actually let's get two more okay oh someone might be expecting so you might find out about a pregnancy over this weekend and last but not least and we'll touch base on all of this you also have some challenges make a decision work on some inner healing Okay, Virgo. So let's see what's up. Let's talk about the communication thing. Okay. Communication. Compromise, forgiving, working it out. Tell Virgo what's going on with this communication thing. All right. So eight of wands in the reverse, Virgo. There's definitely some frustration and problems showing up over this weekend. Um, some delays there might be some travel delays as well if you're going somewhere but it looks like there's going to be some frustrations and there's a desire here from someone to try to figure out a compromise to make something work okay wow seven of swords <laughs> in the reverse okay virgo i do feel with this there's an energy of making amends here yeah so this this just feels to me over the weekend something's going to show up here where there's going to be some frustrations or some problems two people not agreeing on something and needing to uh, and it's it, not agreeing there's delays something's not moving forward two people are or one person is being stubborn, they just said. There's someone who's being stubborn. It could be you. It could be your person, friend, partner, whichever. Um, somebody might just be deciding, changing their mind, not wanting to go somewhere or do something here. But there is this call for like, all right, let's some forgiveness and trying to work out these problems, resolve some issues here. Is there anything else? Could be with a fire sign or an air sign. Okay, yeah, page of wands. Very immature energy. Somebody's being very immature over this weekend. Very bratty. Spoiled bratty. Temper tantrum. All right, so for some of you, this is connected to a relationship that you're in. Um, it could be romantic. This might have something to do with family. There might be like some, I feel like an argument or something with a family member over this weekend, or maybe it's already happened for some of you, but there's a strong message here that either someone needs to make amends, apologize, I swear this just happened to me this morning, it was so crazy, I had to apologize for something um, to the roofers, <laughs> working on the roof, and never mind, I was just being bratty, like, because they were making such a mess. <laughs> Of the yard okay anyway enough about me so uh yeah there's something to do here with a home it's connected to a home and it's like okay let's just either it's gonna happen or someone is going to stop being a spoiled brat and want to say you know i'm sorry 
let's try to work something out here. So if you've had something to happen over the week or whenever, some kind of issue with a family member or romantic partner um, or a work colleague, there is an energy of, okay, we're going to resolve this. And I feel like over the weekend, there's going to be a compromise. Somebody's going to either admit that they were being immature or they didn't handle something well or they acted out of character and there's going to be this you know let's look let's try to figure this out let's try to work this out okay so pay attention to that over this weekend if it's you virgo and you have a moment of like oh you just want to try to solve the problem here um that might be your energy and telling you to Sit down and have the conversation with someone. Okay, you also have moving, change of res residence, moving in with your partner. All right, let's see what's up with this. What are the messages here? Okay, I'll give you two cards. So, Queen of Cups and the Magician. Okay, so this is giving Gemini and Cancer Scorpio Pisces vibes. Okay, so. I do feel like there's a water sign who's in your life to some degree. Um, very insecure to some in some level. Um, a bit dependent, emotionally dependent. Um, and this person wants to, um, they're either moving or they want to move in with you. Okay. That's interesting. Let's get a little more information on that. Wow. Yeah. I, yeah. I mean, I don't know if you're going to hear from this person, but this is very shocking energy as far as either you find this, well, maybe it'll be shocking to you, but this person, I feel like they have this, I don't want to say it's a wake up call. I don't, I don't feel like it's a wake-up call, but it's kind of like, it might be related to this move, to this disagreement or needing to sort something out. Maybe somebody was very stubborn about moving or relocating or uh, moving in together. And that's Scorpio energy with the tower. Well, it's Mars. It could be Aries. But you know what, Virgo? It feels like this is like a boom, like a wow. A shocking kind of now there's also an energy here of someone being very dependent main ask to move in with you because there's some type of like something happens to their home and they need to come stay with you I'm just picking that up you might hear about that over the weekend so like I said it could be a family member friend could be a, a romantic partner um, I'm hearing something happens to their Maybe their home. It feels like a weather-related kind of thing. Maybe a storm or something. They need to move out or they can't stay where they are. So maybe they ask you if they can come stay with you. Yeah, that's what I'm picking up mostly, right? It's Well, not mostly. It's 50-50. So the Seven of Cups in the reverse gives... This gives me the vibe of... They need some security. They would, so they're choosing you. So I feel like whoever this person is, whether it's a romantic partner or it's like they feel like they can depend on you and or they are very dependent on you. Maybe they were in the past, but this is giving me the vibe that this person is really going to come in and try to manifest. Um, they really want to be with you or live with you while they're going through something here. I do feel even in a romantic sense, if it's not related to like um, a home issue, um, they there's commitment here with the seven of cups in reverse. This is like someone who gets clarity. They need to move. Okay, so I'm hearing now, if you're in a long distance relationship, this person realizes that for you guys to be together, they need to relocate or, or you do, right? You guys need to be together. I feel like this person, so I want to, I, part of me wants to say a wake up call because there's like sudden realization. Okay. That's very interesting. 
or it's just they suddenly realize that they want they like they're very dependent on you yeah i mean with the queen of cups in reverse very they don't want to this person this, this water sign does not want to be without you okay they got to commit they realize that and some of that has to do with living together or relocating yeah there's there's the fool okay so this is like a big risk this person is coming forward freeing themselves from whatever their situation is taking this journey being hopeful about this so are you going to get some communication over the weekend perhaps about this moving in together thing or relocating or moving uh yeah you could or it's just an energy of like them realizing that this is what needs to be done now in terms of like you i do feel like you might be looking for housing as well and you're very dependent on this like you need to be in a place that's yours and you might be going out of your way looking to find the perfect place for you and i feel like it, like it's going to be a shock because something is going to manifest that you're going to be able to commit to and you're going to take a risk to go into this new home or this new place so it's going to come out of the blue is what i feel this um opportunity this new beginning is going to come out of the blue Okay. And I feel like with the Queen of Cups, if that's your energy, you're very specific about what you're looking for. You know, it, it's got to be just right. And probably a bit very focused and like obsessed on finding the right place. Okay. So I don't feel like you're going to just move anywhere. It has to fit you. It's got to have everything that you need. Okay, so this weekend is real big for possibly moving or finding a place to move or having someone come forward and asking if you guys could live together. Okay, so now you have Gold Digger. They want your money being used. Okay, let's see. All right, you got the star. Wow. Aquarius energy there. Ooh, the Knight of Swords. Five of Swords, Virgo. Oh, and the Two of Cups. Mm. You need to watch out for a friend or a romantic partner or someone you maybe you start dating. If you're that Virgo that's got more stability, more financial stability than another person, you need to be very careful with this. This feels more like a warning. This person is going to be extremely persistent. Almost the five of swords is giving abusive type communication or words. Um, and even with the star, this might be a public figure, someone who's in the public eye that is giving off romantic vibes. But the truth is they really just want either your money or your vote. That's what I'm hearing. Either your money or your vote. And they're being very persistent about this over the weekend. Yeah, so watch out for someone who comes in playing some kind of romantic game. Um, they have a purpose to this. I know that's not the best message to receive. Um, but, you know, it's not always rainbows and unicorns here. I do feel like there's sometimes a message of keeping it real and being realistic and making sure because i feel like this person's going to come in and mirror you to get what they want or they'll do the whole thing like oh i feel a spark i don't know is it narky yeah it's kind of narky so be careful over this weekend um and what do i mean by that like Pay attention to your intuition and any vibes that you might get. If you suspect any red flags from someone that you're currently dating or that you meet up with over this weekend, don't tell anybody your business. Don't tell anybody how much you make. Don't tell people, um, like, the more information you give to these types of people, 
the more they're going to create an opportunity for themselves to get in. I know I sound like I'm being such a skeptic and negative person, but I'm not. I just feel like, I mean, Gold Digger came out. So you want to be careful with people like that because they're going to latch on and then try to do like it's very cons con artist salesman type energy and this person's going to be extremely assertive with um trying to get what they want okay so keep your just keep your p's and q's about you all right so you also have a pregnancy you might find out someone is expecting over this weekend let's see what this energy is here Someone's expecting. You're going to hear about this. Now, is it you? It could be. Not all of you, but it could be. Might find out over this weekend. But I feel like it's mostly someone. Oh, so this is a really beautiful thing. This is two people who are either married or in a secret union. It's a loving, beautiful relationship. Expecting a child. Okay? So could be some close friends, family members. Um, it could be uh, sib uh, siblings I'm hearing. It could be children. Let's take a look here. Oh, okay. King of Pentacles in the reverse. Okay. King of Pentacles in the reverse is very greedy. I feel like, I don't feel like this is you, okay? I feel like this is someone that you know or you have a connection with. This person, this King of Pentacles in reverse, masculine or feminine, has been wanting to have a child. Is either, like, it's just like a top priority or it's um, someone who, it could be someone that, it could be this person or someone, their their partner. I mean, it is a blessing, though. I feel like if there's someone that you have a connection with that you know has been trying to have children or has been longing or wanting to have children, it's it's come. It, there's some news about this over the weekend. It's a very beautiful thing. Even with the Ace of Cups, that's a new baby energy. It could also be finding out about a pregnancy and then they're going to get married. Okay, anything else? Okay. Not in the best financial. Okay. Uh, not in the best financial situation here, I want to say. Or it's in the sense that this pregnancy might put a bit of financial strain on the couple. Okay, now if it's you, that could be your situation. Um, you know, you can apply it to another person or you, but I feel like with the Ten of Pentacles, it's gonna put a delay in being able to make money, so there might need to be like um, a leave of absence from work due to a pregnancy. Um, they're also telling me IVF, there might be an IVF thing going on here as well and so i don't know if this is something that you are being asked to help out with financially it could be but for some of you it might be just something that you find out they're gonna go ahead with the with the pregnancy and it's gonna be a little bit of a financial strain maybe they might ask you for a little help or if it's you you might seek some financial assistance to get a little help with this could have something to do with health insurance as well um, or IVF or you know like something to help with a pregnancy okay I'm also hearing somebody works in a family business and due to a pregnancy they have to take some time off some time off like a, a leave of absence due to a pregnancy okay all right, let's take a look at challenges. To have challenges here, make a decision, work on inner healing. All right, let's see what's going on here. So yeah, these are a lot of different messages. Let's see, challenges, make a decision, work on inner healing. Oh, wow. Okay, I love it. It's got the Ace of Wands here to start. This is beautiful. This is a brand new potential. Um project or physical endeavor 
that's going to come upon you this weekend. And it's not going to be easy. It's just the start. So I feel like with the Ace of Wands, the Ace of Wands always to me is like a hole in one. It's very difficult to, to put a hole in one. You know what I mean? So there's going to be challenges to this new project or this potential new beginning. There's an urge to create. I feel like you need to um, look and see what these challenges are going to be. Like assess the challenges as best as you can so you know what may come about as you pursue a goal. Okay. And don't be passive. That's the biggest challenge. Passivity is the only time it's really good. Passivity is good is I think if you're in the middle of um, a riot, <laughs> you just kind of want to step away from it, you know, um, but passivity is never going to help you overcome a challenge. Okay. Look at this person. I'm speaking like a third grader, but look at this person. They're pushing that wheel. I don't know what's at the bottom of that wheel. Like, does light come off or something? What's going on? But it's pushing something forward, right? Passive would be laying down and not doing anything, right? So I feel like the message here is this potential new physical activity or start that you're going to be making this weekend. You got to commit to it. And you're being asked here to stay the course with this commitment, this challenge. Um, make a plan. Okay. The four of swords in the reverse is being ready to act. So get ready to act. Okay. Five of wands in the reverse. There you go. This is probably, this is how you'll resolve whatever challenges. So what I'm saying is have some foresight, right? So when, if there's something, a physical activity, it feels like, or something that you're going to undertake or a project or something that you're going to start that you want to do. I feel like the message here is to have foresight of the possible challenges that, that could come your way. So if you need to get some mentorship or do some training courses of some sort, um, because I feel like it's the better way to go. You can't obviously see every possible challenge that's coming your way, but I feel like the message here is anticipate. That's the word. Anticipate the potential challenges. Don't ignore them. Okay? Anticipate them and figure out how you're going to resolve those challenges once you get to that bridge to cross it. Okay? So don't Put yourself in a defeatist mindset. So I feel like they want to give you an example, right? Let's say you're deciding to eat healthy for an example, right? What are the, going to be the challenges to eating healthy? Okay. Going off track, losing your motivation, um, wanting to slip back into unhealthy eating, uh, things like that. I feel like... The way to anticipate you anticipate those challenges and figure out what you can do instead. That's the message here. I know I went the long way around. I don't know why I felt very blocked in saying that, and that might be a block that I'm picking up with you. You want to make it so that kind of like when you're planning a road trip. Um, I feel like for someone here, one Virgo here, you need to like make a plan. This is what I'm hearing. Make a plan. You know, just like when you're going to drive a certain distance, you, you know, I don't know if you guys do it. I always do it. I look at my map, you know, traffic before I go so I can avoid any pitfalls. You know, it doesn't mean that an accident can't happen if I take a different route and then traffic backs up. I can't control those things. But if I can look and see, okay, this is the direction I'm going to go, but there should be all this traffic over here. Let me see if I can find a different route to still accomplish this, the same goal. Kind of like that, right? One more card for Virgo here. Yeah, there you go. Think about it. Think before you move. This is what I feel like the message is here. 
if, if you're going to invest, make sure that you are going to avoid any pitfalls as best as you can before you commit to something. Then once you figure that out and you commit to it, go full steam ahead. Okay. I love the, so I just love the weekend messages because I just feel like we're touching, like spirit likes us to touch on all different aspects of life, right? Not just love, but you, speaking of that, you do have a confession. Someone has something to tell you. So let's see what's this all about here. What are you going to hear? Somebody going to confess something to you over the weekend. Okay, the hangman in the reverse. Justice in the reverse. Page of Cups in the reverse. King of Swords in the reverse. In the Death card. Okay. Hmm. Someone is very hesitate, hesitant. This is what I'm hearing here. Someone is very hesitant to apologize to you. They're emotionally immature. They know they need to do the right thing. And I feel like someone's going to reach out to you over this weekend and tell you that they were being very egotistical. They didn't want to apologize for something that they did. That's why they haven't spoken to you. Um, like that's a real admittance. Um, they felt, I'm hearing, justified in not saying anything to you. Um, they know, I feel like there's someone here who knows or knew that they owed you, well not owed, but they ought to apologize to you to make things better. They were being selfish and playing the victim because it made them feel better. Now they might, it might be about you or it could be something that someone confesses to you in regards to just their behavior. It might not have anything to do with you, but it's something here where there's a big transformation and change and there's a message here about this person wanting to make change in the way they the way they either have their dealings with you or with others and then not only want to but that they're going to uh, i'm hearing um I, i'm hearing someone will say to you they were waiting for you to apologize to them first <laughs> okay so it could be a pisces a libra gemini Aquarius or Scorpio, okay? But this is the confession that's coming out that they were being a bit mm, cold and rigid. They weren't apologizing to you because they felt like maybe you should apologize first. That's interesting. Hmm. They felt like they were victimized. Um, you guys, I'm also hearing, um, they were selfish. They're going to tell you they were being very selfish. Uh, it's something to do with a breakup. So, okay. I feel like the biggest message here is that someone where there was a breakup, they're going to confess to you. They're going to tell you that they were selfish, they were being unfair. They might even say, I, I'm gonna put it out there. They might even say that you were too, that you were being that way. They might confess and say they felt like you were being all those things that I, I listed here. Okay, um, <laughs> I don't know how that's a confession because a confession generally deals with someone's own personal thing that they need to share. So that's kind of what I feel like the majority of that message is, right? But there might be a conversation where two people talk and open up, you and another person, where it's like, yeah, 
yeah, we were both being selfish. I mean, you know, whatever. You take it as it resonates for you in your particular situation, but I do feel like it's going to come out. And with the death card here kind of rounding it out, it feels mostly like um, uh, somebody here felt really destroyed by something and they were suffering and they're putting an end to this. Almost as if like being selfish actually had a reverse effect on them. It, you know, there's this old saying I used to hear, um, holding on to resentment is like drinking poison and expecting the other person to, f to feel it. You know what I mean? Like whenever we hold on to grudges or resentment, the other, other people, especially if they don't know, people don't generally know when they hold, when other people, when we hold on to grudges, other people are generally not affected by that. You know, they just, they sleep well at night. They're just like, oh, okay, well, you do what you need to do. But the person holding the grudge is the one who actually suffers because then they're keeping that pain locked in, that hurt, that anger, that resentment. And I feel like someone here has been holding on to a pain and resentment and anger and maybe bitterness and is coming out to confess to let this all go and maybe even admit that they were acting that way in your relationship. Could it be a romantic partner? Sure. Could also be a friend or a family member. So over this weekend, you will hear something. There might have been a no contact situation going on and that's because someone was bitter, purposely not contacting because they were mad or they were angry. Okay. That's a big confession, but okay. It is what it is. Okay, yeah, look, ghosts that are blocked. Hmm, I feel like somebody, maybe you got ghosted or blocked by someone, Virgo, and you're perfectly okay with it. You know, maybe somebody did you a favor, but it feels to me like it didn't do them any favor. It's not doing them any favors. I don't often understand the ghosting or blocked thing. I get sometimes I feel like when somebody ghosts or blocks it's because they're angry and they don't want to they don't want to have an argument and they don't want to say they don't want to get into their worst energy and have the worst brought out so they which I think is good because ghosting and blocking is a form of self-protection and I feel like if that's the reason to do it or because you don't want to hurt the other person because there's an anger um, that's a good thing, but I feel like anybody who's ghosting or blocking, blocking as a form of punishment is a real narcissist. That's very narcissistic. It is. It's true, right? Don't like it? Click off, but it's true. If you're ghosting or blocking someone, not because you need to get your healing in or you just, you're hurt and you just want to be alone and you're doing it because you want to make somebody pay. It's a form of like the old days. Remember in the old days when we had our regular telephones and we got mad, we slammed the phone down. <laughs> Ghosting or blocking for that purpose can be a bit, it's an act of violence or rage or aggression, you know, whereas the opposite is like, you know, I, we, I just need to disconnect until I figure stuff out. Yeah. Until I heal. Okay. I feel like that's what, uh, we're spending a lot of time on this confession thing, but I feel like that's what the energy is there. Okay, what else does Virgo need to know? Oh, yeah, moving to a safe place. I'm telling you, there's a moving energy happening over this weekend. If you're moving, Virgo, leave a comment. Or if you've just recently moved, or if you have someone who's moving in with you, leave a comment in the, the, under the video and let me know. If that's something here that I'm picking up on for you. Okay, there is a committed love relationship showing up here over the weekend as well. That might have something to do with this moving in together. Someone coming forward, wanting to move in and, and have this committed long-term thing with you. And and this mostly is for those of you who are who have been dealing with someone. If you've been single <laughs> And you're out in the grocery store shopping for cereal and someone comes up. It's like, hey, can I move in? Can we be in a relationship? Like, I'd be like, get out of here. What are, you, what are you, weird? What's the matter with you? Yeah, new plans are evolving over this weekend, Virgo. So I do feel like that has a lot to do with this moving situation and somebody, uh, a, a love relationship get, becoming more committed and exclusive and you guys living together. New plans are evolving over this weekend. Yeah, my gosh, there's a new love start. Yep. Beautiful. That's a beautiful energy. 
Okay, you also have peace. So this is nice. Everything, harmony, everything is coming into balance over this weekend, right? The influence of balance and harmony are over you. Leave things be and allow spirit to work in your life, Virgo. All good things are happening behind the scenes. Trust that God is working in your life. Even when you feel discouraged, be patient. Trust his timing. Trust his process. All right, just a couple more. Okay, again, a material wish is being granted. And if you listen to yesterday's reading, you were getting some type of, or going to be receiving some type of material, something material that you've been wanting. Looks like it'll get granted perhaps over this weekend. Yay for you, Virgo. Oh, and you also have self. This is your card. Take a look at yourself. This is the hermit. Add up the pros and cons of who you are. Balance things out. Don't focus on all the negative. If you've got negative things that you're focused on, you know, add a little side dish of positive things. Balance it out. Reconcile yourself to accepting yourself just as you are, as well as those in your heart, in your life, and around you. Acceptance is key. Don't beat yourself or others up. Just live and let live and be happy. I feel like that's the best way to be happy. Live and let live. You do your thing. I do mine. Enjoy. Okay. And you also have self-indulgence. So focus on yourself this weekend. Your self-worth. Take time to heal. Do some shadow work. Have some self-appreciation. Okay. Very important. What is this girl doing in this picture? I don't know if she's like petting her cat. I don't even know. Oh no, that's her shadow. Oh, she's doing something with her shadow over this weekend. Okay, whatever, weird. Anything else here for Virgo? Yep, there's your love call. You're getting that love call over this weekend. We saw that yesterday in the reading. Go back and listen to this, that uh, yesterday's reading. Very significant. Someone expresses love, a message of love, thinking of you and letting you know. So you're going to hear from someone this weekend. Let's see what your messages of love are. Okay, financial challenges are affecting a relationship. Okay, detach with love to clearly see the truth, Virgo. Um, there is a rejection that is actually divine protection, so see it for what it's worth. Okay, release, radical acceptance and surrender can help you let go of something. So I feel like there might have been some kind of a rejection related to finances or money um, that you might have been in denial about in the past and you got, re you know, rejected because some kind of financial thing with somebody or just in general. I feel like um, that rejection was protection. Uh, in other words, you dodged a bullet <laughs> and... Um, Radical acceptance and surrender can help you let go. Radical acceptance is like going against the grain. There might it might have been related to a marriage that was moving, like a relationship that was moving towards marriage. And a person actually was unable to give you all you deserve. So yeah, I do kind of feel like you dodged a bullet. My mom just sent me a text asked me if I'm tracking the hurricane. You know, if you guys are in that hurricane path that's happening over this weekend, um, I haven't been watching, but I did see that it looked like it was going to be pretty bad, although I'm very skeptical of mainstream media news titles, you know. Maybe it's going to be. I'll have to look, but if it is, and you guys are in the path of that hurricane, I will be praying for you. Any of you that are in Florida or going up the southeast coast of the U.S. I will be thinking of you, praying for you. I hope that you will be safe. I will send you safe healing vibes. Oh, maybe that's what that moving thing is. Maybe it's you needing to stay with someone if you're in the path of that hurricane. Wow, Virgo. Um, if there's evacuations, yeah, be very careful, be very safe, heed to all warnings and evacuations, and do whatever you need to do to get yourself in a safe place. I'm not going to be here this weekend, so I'm sending you out 
strong safety vibes for all of you. Right, so you're also going to receive an apology that you want to hear. Okay, like I said, there's some kind of an apology coming in over this weekend from someone. Okay, you also have abundance. You've done the work. Abundance flows to you now, which is beautiful. Yes, and you have forgiveness. Forgiving yourself or another will help you move forward. Beautiful messages. Interesting messages, at least, for some. All right, let's take a look and call out your Chinese sign, Virgo. And this is just to qualify the reading more. If I call your Chinese sign, it's more to let you know this is for you. And if you don't hear your Chinese sign or you don't know it, it doesn't mean it's not your message. Okay, you have Year of the Tiger, Year of the Monkey, Year of the Rat, Year of the Snake, Year of the Dragon, Goat, Rabbit, and a Horse. Okay, interesting. All right, let's take a look. So you've got a connection, double Gemini, double Aquarius. Now, when I call out those, those zodiac signs, that could be a connection you have with someone, or it could be your sun, or your rising, your moon, your Venus, okay? As a matter of fact, you guys, I have to tell you something so funny. All, all this time, I've been putting in, when I do my chart, putting in my rising sign with my time of birth, and I just found out the other day that I had the wrong time of birth. So all this time I was thinking I'm a Scorpio rising. I'm actually a Sagittarius rising, which totally makes sense for me. Totally. And I felt like, yeah, okay, that explains it. I don't know. So if you're going to get your rising sign, I think I have a link in the description box below. I think it's there. If not, you can go um, look online to calculate your rising sign, which should resonate for you. Um, you just need your time of birth. Okay, so September, very significant month, not only because it, for some of you it was your birthday, um, but because this is the start of something amazing. You also have the month of June. So you might have a connection with a Virgo or a Libra, a Gemini or a Cancer as well. Okay. So we've got age 36, age 53, age 49, age 31, 1981, 1968, August 29th, 1980, age 59, age 40, age 63, or 1963, 1959, 1977, maybe you're age 77. September 21st, September 17th, September 5th, September 9th. Okay. Now, let me take a look and see what names we have. Okay, I'm hearing Lottie or Dottie. And I'm also hearing the last name Shown, like S-C-H-O-N. Is it Shown or Sean? I don't know how to say that. Okay, someone said Nashville. Someone is in Nashville. Nashville, um, Tennessee. Uh, North Carolina, South Carolina. Okay, we have Shaz or Shats. Uh, somebody's having a latte. Nash, yes, Nash, Nashville, Nash. Linda picking up. Uh, somebody's out on the lanai. <laughs> okay. Um, somebody's doing something with their shoe or buying some shoes, buying some new shoes. Um, okay. Uh, somebody lives near the ocean. There's something going on with the ocean over this weekend. I live near an ocean. Or that's a first name. It could be ocean. It's so pretty. Um, someone's name is Hans. Like Han Solo. No, Hans. <laughs> uh, chia seeds, I'm hearing. Tatia. 
Jacqueline, someone's name is Bo, just Bo. Rebecca or Becky. Someone's in California. Somebody's in Hawaii. Someone's in uh, the, Lone, the Lone Star State. I just heard Lone Star State. Um, Bessa. Just heard Bessa. Talia. Mm, somebody loves chocolate. Mmm, chocolate. Or is eating chocolate right now. Okay. Somebody's placing a bet. Doing something with bets. Um, somebody's hurt their shin. Or has like a shin splint. I'm hearing a shin splint. Uh, Nina. Giving me the name Nina. Telly, or someone's a teller. Works maybe at a bank. Okay, let's leave that there. I feel like there's some more, but they're hard. Oh, uh, somebody's house, they live on a slab. Um, yeah, so I guess if you're in the path of a hurricane, you should probably relocate, because if you live on a slab, then you obviously don't have a basement. Maybe there's a crawl space, but <clears throat> I feel like something about a slab. Um, somebody, okay, they're giving me the word balsam, like a pine tree, like balsam. Um, I'm also hearing shoot, like like a name, like S-C-H-U-T-E, shoot. Not, not a bang, bang, shoot. Okay. We'll get a couple of charms. Also, if you're a member of my channel and you are a VIP member, there is a video that is up for the members only, right? So if you're a member, a VIP member, not a loyal member, but the VIP member, you get access to bonus content. So if you didn't see that it's up, it is up a video, a reading, go check that out so that you can have that extra, you get that extra video for the weekend. Okay, so I'm going to give you three charms. No, nope, they said four. Okay, um, somebody is a dressmaker or a clothing maker. Dressmaker or a clothing maker. Maybe uh, making a dress or making some clothing for, uh, you might be like a fashion designer or you have a connection to that. Maybe you're thinking about going into that. Um, somebody might do like cosplay costumes, creates costumes. Um, or is picking out a wedding gown. Somebody's picking out a wedding gown or helping someone pick out a wedding gown over this weekend. Okay, you also have a horse, this beautiful horse. Okay, so you might be a horse, maybe you ride horses, or you go where the horses are. You might live on a farm. Oh, maybe you live on a farm, horse farm, or you do something with horses. Maybe you're betting on the horses. That horse took off. I have no idea where it went, y'all. So he's gone, but you saw it. Yeah, some connection to a horse here. Could be, you know, your Chinese sign, born in the year of the horse. Okay. Um, you could be buying a car with, like, a really good, I don't know, eight-block engine, six-block horsepower. Something with horsepower. Okay. And you also have a um, three-pronged fork, which... I feel like a three-pronged fork is a salad fork or is it dessert? can't remember. Um, but you might be at a fork in the road. I feel like you are you could be driving right now and there's a fork in the road. Or you've got something here. Um, they're also giving me fork tines. Something to do with fork tines. Maybe you're picking out silverware or looking at silverware over this weekend. Or you're missing a particular... Maybe it's a meat fork. You're missing a particular fork. Um, it's in your bedroom. That's what I just heard. Your fork, if you're missing like a, a serving fork, it's in your bedroom. That's a weird message. Okay. I know. I'm so quirky with my readings. And then you also have a skull with a top hat. Uh, is that steampunk? Not sure. Uh, this could have something to do with Halloween. Halloween decorations, maybe. Um 
or dressing up in some kind of costume. That's really what it feels like. All right, Virgo. So I'm going to leave your message there. I hope you enjoyed that for the weekend. I will see you guys back here on Sunday. Please be safe. Please be careful. Do everything you can to do to protect your safety with this hurricane if it's in if you're in the path of that. And uh, yeah, don't forget to go check out the members only video. Personal reading links also in the description box below. You can follow me on Facebook. I'm on TikTok. Um, I am on Instagram, but I don't use it really all that much. Hardly at all, actually. And where else am I? That's it. All right, you guys. So don't forget to sign up for the membership. Thanks for all your support. Thank you, Mods, for being here. And um, I think I have Jason is in Florida. So Jason, I'm sending you good vibes, good energy. I hope that you will be safe over this weekend. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys back here on Sunday. I just can't care. let you, you go. Well. Lord knows that I've tried to You said I was the only one No one likes being lied to You made this mess and left me with the pieces Now I wanna burn all the bridges between us Ooh.